Have you ever thought about where to buy a house on Staten Island and didn't know where? Well, let me introduce you to a nice, beautiful community with awesome, large, spacious, amazing homes that you should consider in the area of Rossville. Technically, I don't even know why they picked Rossville because it's really situated kind of in between Rossville, Woodrow, Pleasant Plains, and Charleston. But I think that it's just because that the proximity to uh, Rossville is a lot shorter than to all the other ones. Well, we just seen a bus go by and that's because right on Bloomingdale Road and Sherrod, there are buses here. This is the S55, the SIM26. So it goes to Midtown and it also goes locally. So I will introduce you to these three amazing communities. Let's check them out. As we turn from Bloomingdale, we are going to hit Sherrod's Road, which is right here. And if you go straight all the way down Sherrod's Road, in about two blocks, you will hit the 440, which will take you to New Jersey or within the highway. So I'm gonna show you Sherrod's Crossings first, which is the largest out of the three. So we will make a right turn into White Oak Lane. And we are passing Hamlock Lane. Let me tell you what's exciting about this particular community. All of these homes, although they are townhouse styles, they are all enormously humongous over 2200 square feet of living space all of these homes here are two family homes the units that are in the middle are a bit wider than the units that are on the side and the layout is a teeny bit different but on the first entry level you have the garage and you have the foyer and then on the same level, you have the one bedroom apartment. So that takes the rest of the square footage. But the one bedroom apartments are really nice. A lot of the homeowners did some modification and they have additionally in installed a washer and dryer. So anybody who wants to rent here is also a good option if you don't like to go to the laundry, my aunt. This is a community that does required to pay homeowners association fees but it's not because it's a condo it's because they need to be able to have the garbage trucks the snow plows to come in here and because it's a private street or private block trash the garbage trucks and the snow plows need to be paid for to come in here it's not free as well as keeping the street lights on and making sure that the roadways are in good shape so this is what the homeowners association is for you don't have to get any permission if you want to buy here sell here rent here there's really no restrictions except finding something for sale and qualifying to buy it if you are looking to buy it with mortgage right now there is absolutely no available homes on the market in this community at all. We are making a turn into Shelton and I want you to pay attention to this decorated house. I know it's daytime and you really don't get to see the exotic and the beauty and all the lights and everything. But this house, since after 9-11, has been the hot spot for people to come and view all the decorations. This gentleman lost his wife at, in 9-11, and since then, he's been traditionally doing decoration uh, and allowing everyone to come and, and uh, enjoy everything that's going on there. It's beautiful, it's amazing. And this is in honor of his wife who passed away uh, during 9-11. Uh, I just actually took my grandson to see it and he had a blast. So right now we're going to make a left turn. And I'm going to drive you in 
to Darnell Lane. Also, right ahead of us is the 440, which is takes us straight into the highway to get to New Jersey, if that's what you want to get. So right here is Darnell Lane is adjacent to Robin Court, which we're going to drive in, in in a few minutes. But right here, the homes look a bit different because they are different. There's an option here of either a two family or a one family. All of these homes are attached to one another by the garage. So they all feel like they're semi attached homes, but technically they are attached to each other by the garage. They look different because they are different because they are different style of home. Interior wise, they are smaller than Sherrod's Crossings 3 and their layout's a little bit different. The two family homes, the second unit is halfway down the basement and the single family homes, they're actually uh, have a basement. So there you go, you have a pick. By the way, right now on Darnell Lane, there is one house for sale and it's a two family house. So if you're interested in this neighborhood, you can ask me what it is, which house it is and how much it is. I'd be happy to give you all the answers. Also, this whole area, there's woods in front of us. It is December, so all the leaves had stripped from the trees. During the spring, summer, and fall, this is all green. But this was this was completely wooden area. You could see also over there. So this whole area was a wooded area, it was a forest, and they killed the trees, unfortunately, to build this community and have more homes for people to live. This whole community has been built around the 1990s. Here's very funny because we're coming to where Darnell Lane and Robin Court split. On the left side, we have Darnell Lane, and on the right side, we're going to go into Robin Court. Once we turn to Robin Court, the homes on Robin Court are exactly the same as we just been to Sherrod's Crossings number three. It's the same idea. All of these homes are two family homes. The middle units are a bit wider, and the apartments on the first floor and the garage and the foyer are also on the first floor. But I'm telling you guys, you're not even gonna find most of the time a detached house that is as large as these homes on Robin Court and Sherrod's Crossings number three. Now, if you wanna know what's around here, you're welcome to stick around. If you like what you see so far and you need a big house for your family, you definitely want to check the Rossville area, specifically Sherrod's Crossing number three, Darnell Lane, and Robin Court. I promise you, you're not gonna be disappointed. Unfortunately, there's absolutely nothing to sell right now. There's nothing on the market right now, but that doesn't mean it's not going to be here. If you want more information, I'm here. Reach out, ask me in the comments on reach out directly. My information is in the description as always. And I hope you enjoyed this tour. I sure did. It's beautiful over here. And do come and check out the holiday decorations on the house on Sherrod's Road. It's very famous. And be prepared. Dress up warmly because there's a line to get inside always. I will see you on the next video.